What is going on guys, q z here, and welcome back for another Call of Duty Zombies video. In today's video, we're going to be going over what I personally think is the best gun, or at the very least, the best pistol in Zombies history. Now, I know a lot of you guys know that the Executioner is my favorite gun in Zombies history. I've loved using that weapon since the very first time I got it out of the box, but recently with that Tsubo no Shima, a certain pistol has started to grow a little bit of a fondness over me, those being the Marshall 16s, and I've started to wonder which of the two is better. So anyways guys, let's get into this. Now we might as well start off by talking about the tried and true executioner of Black Ops 2. Now this is my personal favorite weapon in Zombies history, and whenever I get it out of the box, I just get excited. But apart from that, it really is one of the best guns in Black Ops 2 Zombies. It's just so, so powerful. You can get a one-shot headshot with Double Tap 2.0 and Pack-a-Punch up until about round 40. Once this thing is thrown into the Pack-a-Punch machine, you get the Voice of Justice. You get 115 shots in total, or 115. You guys know the drill, and it's just so much better than the Python and the Remington. A lot of people love the Python and the Remington, even though those two are the same weapon. But the Executioner really is just so much better. It just is. There really is no arguing. Now, I do love the Python as well, but the Executioner is absolutely nuts. You can Pack-a-Punch it twice and get either Full Metal Jacket or a Long Barrel on it. I like getting the Long Barrel as it really does tighten your spread up a little bit and you can get these zombies from further away you don't have to you know be so close to them to get those one shot headshots in the later rounds but anyways guys let's move on to the Marshall 16s and see which of the two is really better now the dual wield Marshall 16s have only appeared on one zombies map thus far and that is Zetsubo no Shima now I have no doubts that they will appear on the DLC 3 and 4 zombies map but for right now we've only had the pleasure of using them once and these things are absolutely nuts and they've quickly become my favorite weapon of Black Ops 3 now once you pack a punch them you get the Peren and Velez and you get three shots per weapon before you only had one shot per weapon just like in multi player and these things are nuts in close quarters and they're very very good for taking out the thrashers I love getting these weapons and taking out the challenge where you have to kill three thrashers before they have mutated it's very very good for that because you can really just annihilate any thrasher that gets in your way on the high rounds these are very very good as well because they're great for taking out the boss and you can double pack a punch these and get a second pack a punch ability they're not too strong on the high rounds in terms of actual bullet damage but they're very very good for just getting a double pack a punch ability and keeping them in your back pocket if you ever need to take out a thrasher and you don't have the skull of non sopway now I don't really know how to compare the two weapons because I love both of them so much and these games are just so much different and I don't really know if I can pick a winner, but if I absolutely had to, I would take the Executioner as the edge over the Peren and Velez, or the dual wield Marshall 16s. And the really only reason for that is there's just a lot of ammo in both of these guns, but the Executioner just has more killing potential without the double pack-a-punch ability. Now with the double pack-a-punch ability, obviously the dual wield Marshall 16s take the edge over it, but in terms of just base damage with the bullet itself, the Executioner definitely has the edge over a little bit. Let me know in the comments down below which of the two weapons you think takes the cake. I personally just love the Executioner. I've always had a huge, just hard on for this weapon. There's really no other way to put it. I just love using it so, so much. It's a great gun. Both of them are absolutely amazing, but leave a like if you enjoyed this video. We're going to shoot for 200 likes again. We've been smashing that out every video lately. So thank you guys so much for that, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace out.